Yes, thank you. So we have um, a, a new project project that is trying to understand from the individual level people's demand for various types of um, uh, therapies for Alzheimer's and other dementias. So we have these great novel therapies out there. Um, they're currently the IV infusion, there's high side effects, require a lot of um, uh, imaging to uh, ensure that side effects aren't serious. So the demand for these drugs is going to be affected by the type of drug we have. And it'll vary across populations. So it might be different for the populations that are most at risk of acquiring Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's disease. So our, we're partnering with Rush University um, to really understand what is the characteristics of drugs um, that would increase the demand for these ther therapies. Um, it's really important to try to understand what are the characteristics because we see um, drug trials changing the characteristics of the drugs to try to have you know easier ways of administering them, maybe uh, fewer doses required. So if we have a good understanding of um, how we can support um, not only access to the drugs, but also people's interest in receiving the treatments, this can have a really large impact on the burden of disease for, for everybody. And the other area that I'm really excited about in, in this in this realm is thinking about on the prevention side, uh, the use of repurposed drugs. So we know that um, there's a whole bunch of pharmaceuticals out there that are very well tested and tolerated and cheap, like different antihypertensives. And there's quite a bit of study around different drugs of this nature um, that may also directly impact dementias and Alzheimer's pathology. So not just working through, you know, improving people's vascular health, but actually impacting the disease itself. Again, we're trying to understand, you know, what are people, what is, what are individuals demand for these potentially repurposed drugs? So if you don't have the disease, how willing would you, how willing are you to think about um, these preventive um treatments and what parts of the preventive treatments or what aspects of these drugs um, might um, uh, support your use and what what might you find barriers to your use so we're doing a lot of work in this at this area um, we need to really think about the access issues but we also need to understand um, you know who who will be using these drugs and and what are the barriers to their use